Geneva. I'm in Ralph Thorsby working with Stuart Knight, the art teacher, who was interested in building um, structures for the students to wear. And we then talked about how those structures could be uh, uh, influenced by the prosthetics, but then more creative. And then perhaps those objects could be used as tools for drawing with and, tool and things for drawing. I think that art has a capacity to communicate really difficult, personal, political, particular things that is impossible to put in words. And so to use art to deal with difficult subjects, distressing subjects, uh, we can make poignant, poetic, beautiful things that talk of the disaster and talk of the sadness that, yes, we can see in film or we can see in photographs, but the fact it has the, ha the a much more sort of human, the hand in it is really important. Uh, there was an exhibition called uh, The Body Extended Sculpture and Prosthetics. So that was the starting point and very much um, the prosthetics element was linked very much to the 1418 Now agenda around raising awareness of World War I. And what was fascinating was um, how the exhibition, which was curated by Lisa Leferve, um, really explored how the role of artists and sculptors and craftspeople really came to the fore. The schools would engage with the exhibition and then what we wanted to do was support the students and the teachers to extend what they would do, uh, their response, their creative response to the exhibition and work on show. And, but we didn't want to just purely go down um, the visual art or sculpture route, so we introduced um, also a poet. So we've got a team of three who are working um, on, the, on the project. It is very much a kind of a piece of research in itself um, for the Henry Moore Institute to look at what are the successes and what are the um, challenges of, of working effectively with schools and helping them to think about their future programme and how they can you know, move forward and continue to engage schools in the work that they do. Thank you.